Class D airspace is the least busiest airspace that we could operate in as a remote pilot. Again, though, it's still controlled. You have to get approval to fly into this airspace. It's just not as busy as B or C would be. Class D starts at the surface and goes up to 2,500 feet above ground level. Now keep in mind again, what you see on the VFR sectional chart is going to be that mean sea level number. It's depicted by a blue dashed line. It generally consists of one layer or shell that extends four nautical miles out. So you have that one layer with that blue dashed line that extends four nautical miles out from the center of the airport, just like the image to your right that shows Northwest Florida Beaches International. And I know that it's a Class D airport because of the blue dashed line and that one layer. Class D also requires two-way radio communication. A transponder is not required, but it is required for a manned pilot to talk to air traffic control before entering or departing Class D airspace. In the next video, let's take a look at an example of Class D on Sky Vector.